remember earlier I was talking about different types of illusion and one type of illusion is seeing something that just isn't there and another type of illusion is when we see something that does actually exist but we're seeing it in a distorted way. The term glamorous illusion is sometimes applied to that kind of illusion. They have a glamour around them. Now if that seems to you an odd way of using the word glamour, it's actually true to the root of the word. The word glamour is an old Scots word and it partly means a fog or a mist but it can also mean an enchantment or a spell. So if you combine these, a fog or a mist or an enchantment or a spell, that's very much the effect that glamour has on us. We become enchanted by it. Later on when the glamour collapses then we can go the other way and uh, we get disgusted by it. But basically that's the effect that glamour has on us. It sways our feelings, it sways our emotions. There's often a strong element of emotion to glamorous illusions, sometimes just called a glamour. When we get very starry-eyed about romantic love, then we're seeing it through an attractive glamour. We're seeing it's something beautiful and magnificent that's going to change our life for the better, and to some extent, it does. And then if the relationship ends, or for some reason it all goes wrong, we become bitter and cynical about it, which is another glamour. That's an ugly glamour. It's a repulsive glamour. But each stage is a form of glamour. We're not seeing romantic love as it is in the moment. Each perspective, whether overly optimistic and starry-eyed, or whether overly pessimistic and bitter and, and cynical, is a distortion of our perspective on romantic love. We're seeing romantic love through a fog of illusion. We go from a spell of being starry-eyed and optimistic to a spell of being cynical and pessimistic. But both of them are spells. Both states are seeing through a fog and not seeing reality, not seeing truly. A glamorous illusion is seeing something which exists, but we're not seeing it for real. We're seeing it in a distorted way, and it's usually our emotions that are causing the distortion, that are swinging your perspective one way or the other, and causing us to not see the situation clearly. When we're seeing things through an attractive glamour, then we're only seeing what we want to see about the person by exaggerating things about the person or situation which appeal to us, we're only focused on the upside. And then we're usually avoiding seeing what potentially could be on the downside, and we're avoiding seeing what does not appeal to us about the person or the situation. So romantic love is not an illusion in the sense that it's not a mirage, it does actually exist. But it can be we're seeing it through illusions, we have illusions about it. Thank you.